Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Um, now, Vintage Collection. Uh, we've been aware since uh, the return of the Vintage Collection in 2018, I think? Early 2018 perhaps? I can't remember um, exactly when we got the uh, revival of the Vintage Collection. But uh, it seemed to be for a little while there that they were very much going to just be repacking um, some of the figures that were released in the three and three quarter inch black series line um over the years between um so so i decided to sort of go back and have a look at what they've what they've missed um and surprisingly <laughs> they're actually a lot so we're gonna be going through them one by one um i've got 15 figures here that were in the 3.75 inch black series that I feel like should be in the Vintage Collection uh, at some point, given that they're probably going to end up there anyway. Um, but yeah, these are figures that I'd love to see come into the Vintage Collection, get re-releases, slight updates, uh, etc. And I think I think they'd be pretty popular. So let's kick off our top 15. What's well, not a top 15? Our 15 figures uh, from three and three quarter inch Black Series from 2013 through 14 and 15. So let's take a look. All right, so straight off the bat, we're going with Padme Amidala from Attack of the Clones. Now, I have raved on about this one before. Um, simply because I feel like with that recent wave, I mean, I understand why they did the repack wave with the uh, the black outfit, uh, Queen Amidala and the peasant Anakin. I understand why they got those out, but I feel like this would have been a perfect slot for this figure. Um, yeah, this is a really good Padme Amidala and even, you know, a little touch up with some photo reel uh, paint apps, I feel like would really set this figure off. Um, it's just, it's a really nice figure, you know, claw scratches on the back, so it's sort of mid battle, um, you know, even a version, even the version prior with her full, she hadn't had a sleeve and stuff with shirt ripped yet, uh, that would be equally as cool. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good figure. I just feel like on a nice vintage card, have her have a nice photo of her up on top of the tower, um, you know, whipping whipping the Nexu with the chain. Uh, I think it'd be fantastic. And that way you can really get some sort of Geonosis stuff out. Uh, I feel like being the anniversary of Attack of the Clones, 20 years next year, I feel like we may see some of these um, particularly this one and the next one I'm going to talk about. I think we'll see them come out on Attack of the Clones cards next year. I think it's kind of a no-brainer and I wouldn't be surprised at all. So let's move her back there and we'll go for the second one. And naturally, I'm going to go with Anakin Skywalker um, in his sort of Episode 2 outfit. This is the definitive Episode 2 Anakin in my opinion. Um, yeah, again, a slight update to some photo reel paint, I think would, would help this figure along uh, a fraction. Obviously I've given him a green lightsaber, but you know, you give him, give him his classic blue one, throw in a green one as well, just for good measure. So you can, you know, have any scene you want, whether he's fighting on Geonosis or beforehand. Um, he also had the swap out hand, so you could swap it out for his robotic hand that he has at the end of the film. So. Um, you know, give him a Jedi robe as well. You know, this, this is just fantastic Anakin figure. Really, really nice, this one. So yeah, I've, again, put him on a nice vintage card with Geonosis in the background, even fighting against Dooku, that would be fantastic. Because let's be honest, we need a Dooku um, on a vintage card, which is yeah, absolutely no brainer if you ask me, and I think most other collectors would agree. Um, I dare say we'll get one, but um, yeah, Dooku obviously not appearing in this video because he didn't get a Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch release. So let's move Anakin to the back. Next up, we're going with Empire Strikes Back. We're going with the Snow Trooper Commander. Now, ever so slightly different to the Snow Trooper. Slightly different on the helmet there. Um, yeah, this this was a good figure too. Uh, probably probably not as good as some of the snow troopers um, but I do like it you know the funky pistol doesn't really sit in the holster very well um, 
but it's a, it's a nice looking snow trooper and it's different enough. You know, this is the one that walks in to speak to um, General Veers in the uh, in the AT-80 before he commands them to you know, bark onto the uh, but bark onto the ground. Um, you know, it was a long time before this figure came out. I didn't actually realise that there were there were any different. I just assumed, you know, it was probably just a slightly different outfit. Um, it was just fitted differently on, on a particular actor, but no, it's actually a sort of, only with the helmet really, um, as a sort of separate design. I'm pretty sure anyway. But yeah, the Snowtrooper Commander could definitely find a spot in the vintage collection. I think it'll look great on a card. Um, nice one in the uh, cockpit of the at, -AT I think that'd be fantastic it's uh, it'd be just nice something new that's still something you know that has that sort of nostalgic feel from from the from the 80s so that's one another one that I'd like to see so we're gonna get into a clone here I'm gonna get a couple of clones to go through so this is commander Neo uh, another no-brainer really given the amount of clones they're putting out at the moment um, you know a lot of them are getting great releases we've got uh, Captain Fordo coming out again at some point soon um, they've done Wolf they've done uh, Echo and Fives uh, they've done a Captain Rex uh, he's about to get another release from his Bad Batch version um, yeah this is this is one of the best clones that came out in that era um, I thought this was definitely going to be um, ready for Vintage Collection if it continued past 2012-2013 um, but yeah obviously they went with the uh, rebrand of the Black Series and uh, so this guy got sort of shoehorned into that line I dare say most of these figures probably were destined for the Vintage Collection just in terms of uh, character choice and quality um, but yeah just the, the package branding that they decided to go with uh, with black series trying to create a uniformity across the brand um yeah i so i dare say they do have card backs sitting there ready to go for a lot of these figures so that's commander neo so here's the uh one from salukamai who shot down stasali in revenge of the sith not sure if it was actually him but it was his squadron I'm pretty sure it was they come with the bark speeders, which is awesome. Yeah, just a really nice clone. Well weathered, looks good. Awesome, sort of individual head sculpt on the clone. And then my lighting isn't fantastic at the moment. I had to unplug my my light that I use um, so I could plug my camera in. It's starting to go flat. Uh, we're going to go with another Clone Wars one here. Uh, Max Windu, given the fact that they've redone the Obi-Wan Anakin uh, that are behind behind there, um, I dare say Ahsoka may get another release at some point. She did get re-released into the Black Series line with the red boxes, um, but yeah, that one has gone up in value on the vintage card, so I dare say it could very well see a, a different release. Um, so this is a good mace window, you know, like the only problem I have, I don't think they got the skin tone right. I think his skin tone needs to be a little bit darker. Um, if I was to compare it with one, another one that I can reach. Let's have a look here. So this is an older mace, but you can definitely see the uh, difference in skin tone there. But that wouldn't be a difficult fix, I don't think. Um, obviously it's just the, the color of the of the plastic they've decided to cast in um, but yeah another version of a Clone Wars Clone Wars figure this is fantastic um, I dare say we'll be seeing this version of Mace in the Black Series a six inch line they've sort of teased that they're going to do a Mace Windu um, and given that they've just done Anakin and Obi-Wan I dare say he'll be based on this from the Dave Filoni Clone Wars as opposed to the Tartakovsky um, appearance with the, where he has a little bit more armor is the chest armor um, but yeah this is a good mace I, I, I do like this one a lot just yeah the the sort of skin tone just could could be a little bit better a little bit more accurate you know this is very much almost a sort of light brown caramel um, but yeah that's 
Otherwise, fantastic figure, really nicely done. Um, yeah, it would be an absolutely cool, super cool release to go up there with those three and the uh, some of the other realistic Clone Wars figures that are that are coming out at the moment. I would uh, yeah definitely snatch that one up again. If it was a nice sort of realistic updated version on a vintage card, I think that'd be a no-brainer. So let's go with another one, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, this is Darth Vader from Revenge of the Sith, and this is still probably one of the best uh, three and three quarter inch Darth Vaders they've done. You know, his, his helmet's a little bit, a bit different, but they, uh, you know, they completely re-sculpted Darth Vader's helmet for Revenge of the Sith from the ground up. Because um, the original one was really pretty much sculpted by hand and uh, it wasn't symmetrical. Um, wasn't super symmetrical anyway. Uh, whereas this one, what they did with Revenge of the Sith is they made it perfectly symmetrical, which to some people's eyes uh, just didn't quite work. But, you know, it. I think it does. I think it's a, you know, this figure itself is just fantastic. It's got all the articulation, um, you know, good soft goods. The he I think the helmet, the head had some issues with it popping off at some stage just because of the uh, slightly short neck peg there. Um, I do remember that being an issue back when this guy was released, but you know, it's a, it's a small tooling fix and you know, most of us are repairing figures that we get brand new out of the box these days anyway. So I think Vader from Revenge of the Sith, have him on the card next to Sidious on the Death Star there, or even on the, uh, even on the, uh, medical facility where you know, Lord Vader, can you hear me? Like, yes, my master. I think that would be great. But, you know, I love the way I've managed to pose him up here. You know, sort of depicting Vader on one of his first missions in the suit with his lightsaber. It's really, really cool. So, yeah, that's, a, that's another one for me to go into the vintage collection. I'd love to see that. Uh, this one I feel like is a no-brainer too, Finn. I feel like you probably should have had it over-released by now. Uh, most of the other Force Awakens figures did get that release. Or at least uh, Rey, Kylo, um, First Order Stormtrooper, um, Poe. Even though technically that was a Rise of Skywalker card, but it was the same figure basically that they put in the... Uh, three and three quarter inch black series. Um, his main character, Force Awakens, you know, the figure's there, it looks good. You know, you could easily do a little bit of photo reel, but it's not necessary. I think it's a good likeness of uh, John Boyega there. And, uh, yeah, it's a cool figure. I, I actually really like this figure. I think it's a good one. Um, you know, the black series one was packed extremely highly and there's still, I'm sure there's still stores around the world that have the Black Series 1 as well, in stock still, um, six years on. And that's because they just made so damn many of them. But you know, put them on a vintage card, you know, th there doesn't seem to be a lot of vintage figures out there these days, so it, it's probably an easy one to get out and uh, move quickly. But yeah, I really like this version of Finn. I gotta be honest, I'd, I'd probably rather see a Last Jedi outfit or a Rise of Skywalker outfit Finn, but uh, I'll take any of them. And if it means repacking this one on a vintage card, I think it would look good. You give him the blue lightsaber as well, so you can have that option. I think absolute no-brainer. So next up, we've got a couple more clony boys here. We have uh, Clone Commander Thorn. Now I've given him this weapon from another one from another figure because this one didn't come with the uh, accurate Gatling gun sort of thing here that he has here. Z95? No, that's the Headhunter. I can't remember. Z7? Uh, yeah, no. Nah. I'm completely blanking. But yeah, Thorn, absolutely awesome. He's got the wings on his helmet. You know, he's, uh, he's inspired by Thor from the Marvel Universe. So yeah, he gets the little wings. And uh, yeah, I think his, his weapon was called the Hammer. So yeah, no brainer. I think this would look awesome, awesome, awesome on a vintage card. I know the sculpt of this one isn't the best. Um, it's a bit like that Captain Rex that was recently re-released. Um, you know, they sort of went with this sort of clone mold for a little bit. Um, 
not sure if it worked super well. Um, I feel like they were just a little bit too small in the head anyway. Um, they just, just didn't quite find that balance, did they? Particularly with the phase twos. But uh, yeah, this is what, this one's great. Uh, a lot of people would love, you know, some more clone guys like this one. And, uh, Thorn is a badass. Just gonna pack him with the, the right guns. I did replace his antenna on the back there with a with a needle with a pin, so <laughs> that looks a little bit more shiny and accurate in scale. Because it did have like a, just a big plastic knob. Yeah, don't laugh, kids. Don't laugh. So another Marvel-inspired clone. This is Clone Commander Doom. Again, another cool-looking clone. It would look great on a vintage card. Yeah, he didn't have a lot of screen time in the series, but he was there. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice looking clone trooper. I think he looks fantastic. Again, using the same body as Thorn and uh, Rex. Pretty much just repainted from each other. They're both basically the same figure, just different repaints. Slightly different arm. This one doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the antenna. And he's got a rank badge there on his chest. So slightly different, slightly retooled. Um, but yeah, definitely sharing m majority of the same parts as that clone there. So it wouldn't be a difficult one to put out again. And, uh, you know, people that missed this back in uh, 2014, I think, I came in the TIE Fighter pilot packaging, I believe, um, if memory serves me correctly. So yeah, 2014. But yeah, another really, really great figure that would just look great on a vintage card. So we're going back to the OT for this one, and it's Biggs Dark Lighter. Biggs! Biggs! <laughs> uh, this is a, this is a good 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 figure, you know. It's it's a stock standard sort of Rebel pilot figure in terms of the uh, sculpt and the outfit and stuff. But uh, you know, it looks good. It's Biggs, you know. A little bit of extra paint detail on the face for photo reel. You know that new aesthetic they're going with it wouldn't hurt. And you've got his helmet. I have left his blaster, I think it's in his X-Wing, because I do have his X-Wing, um, but I obviously took the figure out, so you can't see the figure when the when the uh, X-Wing's hanging on the roof anyway, so there it is. Just there. I had to move the camera so I don't spoil the rest, you know, people don't like spoilers anymore. So yeah, Biggs, I think, you know, it's been long enough. It was in the original. He's deserving of a vintage carded figure. I think it's an absolute no-brainer. You know, he's integral to Luke's story. He's uh, one of the many losses of Luke Skywalker. But yeah, Biggs. Biggs would be a good one. I think put him on a vintage card, just a regular Star Wars card. He'd be uh, very welcomed into the vintage collection, I think, by a lot of collectors. So we're getting into the final five now. And this one here, Mosep the Need. Again, a no-brainer. Just a really freaking cool looking alien. Um, just just awesome, I love this figure, I really do. He sits on my barge, hangs out on the barge. Let's see, put him on a cool Return of the Jedi card. There was, a, there was an alien that looked a little bit like this in A New Hope, I believe. Um, it's one of those blinking you miss it kind of guys. But yeah, I really like this figure. I love love the sculpt of his head there. Looks like he has a looks like he has nuts for mouth. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is a cool one. I love the red sort of the red outfit. So yeah, most have been Eve. It looked great, I think. Uh, four left, down to four. Mara Jade, you know had to get an expanded universe character in here at some point um yeah mara jade had just happened to be the one i think that would be you know she's not a super duper fan favorite a lot of people do love mara jade um i personally would like to see a different head i think this one's just a little bit too comic book silly sort of maybe a little bit com yeah comic booky but uh yeah, you could definitely do a little bit better there. Um, 
It's just really big hair. <laughs> it's just not the best. I think the head's fine, but it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. So yeah, she's got her holster, pistol, awesome. She looks fantastic. Definitely put her on a vintage card. You know, a nice expanded universe logo or just go with the Star Wars, which they seem to be doing now anyway. This is just something about this expanded universe logo that they're not using anymore. Um, yeah, I'd, I probably wouldn't get her again unless she was super different. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of people out there that miss this one that would absolutely love to get their hands on Mara Jade. So, with three to go, three, we have Meru Meru, the Wookiee. Now this is a this is a one of the best Wookiee figures they've done. It's solid. It's got good weapons. Got this staff. It's got his blaster pistol. It's shielding. Nicely sculpted, nicely painted armor. It's got a hat that comes off. I've just blue tacked it on. Nicely sculpted. Good size. Good height. Little Wookie dreads down the down the front there. Good articulation. It's just a good one. Little Wookie dreadlocks at the back there too. It's just a good good figure. I remember getting this one when he came out in the Black series, and uh, yeah, I was just thrilled to have another Wookie to the collection. We don't don't get enough Wookies anymore. We don't get a lot of we don't get enough of much anymore. So <laughs> to, to get a, get another Wookie out would be fantastic but yeah to throw a throw a random Wookiee like Meru Meru here on a vintage card I think would be sweet a lot of people would love that so two left this one's one of my personal favorites still Pablo Jill Jedi Knight from Attack of the Clones just a awesome freaking cool looking figure he's got the funny looking dog legs the boots nice chunky torso just a fantastic sculpt. The hands are awesome. He's got his upside down head. Yeah, that's how he's meant to look. But if you put it upside down, that's just comical. That's hilarious. That looks just that looks funny to me. But yeah, this is this is a good one. This is a really good one. How this guy is not in the vintage collection already, I don't know. Um, it's it's just one of those ridiculous aliens. It's just an absolute no-brainer. Absolutely no-brainer. I think he'd look fantastic. Find a good image, slap it on an Attack of the Clones vintage card. And you're done. You're done. Just put him out. A lot of people would love to get their hands on this guy. Because he's just, just crazy enough, you know? Like, he's just one of those characters. Just crazy. Just this weird, wonderful, wacky alien. Pablo Jill. What a figure. All right, lucky last. This one is just an absolute no-brainer. Darth Plagueis. Just such a cool figure. That book, Darth Plagueis novel by James Lucino, that just blew my mind back in like 2010, 2011. Um, whenever that was that came out. And this figure just came out. You know, you could probably do with a little bit bigger. You could probably buff buff this up by about 30% and have him a little bit taller, a little bit bigger. Um, because, yeah, comparing to the Mara Mar Jade, he's quite small. And uh, the Munes, which is his species, the Munes, M-W-N, W, not W. Um, yeah, he, he, they're meant to be quite tall. And this guy's quite just, you know, mediocre size, mid middle size, not super tall or anything. He is fantastic. Skinny little legs, you know, you can bulk them up a little bit. He's got his lightsaber and staff which join together. Robe is removable. Get his armor. You got this breather mask. Just a really cool. Really cool figure. This one, Darth Plagueis. Remember when I initially reviewed this one <laughs> back in like 2013. Uh, I do remember this one coming out in 2013. 
because I remember where I was living and where I reviewed him and that video just completely blew up. Um, it did, it just got big numbers really quick. And somehow I just managed to get this one at a reasonably good early time. Um, but yeah, he goes for quite a lot now. And yeah, I'd love to see this one on a vintage card. I think it'd be fantastic. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, folks. Any others I'm missing? Any others you'd like to see from Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch? I know there was a few figures that I missed. Uh, some sequel trilogy characters. You know, the Starkiller Base Han. There was Leia in her outfit from the end of Force Awakens. Um, Torrin Far from Empire Strikes Back is another one that comes to mind from the line. Um, but yeah, I just, I just thought I'd gather together 15 figures, throw them together in a video. I thought it'd be cool to just sort of take a look at what could come out in the near future, knowing very well that Hasbro probably have plans to get these all on vintage cards at some point, given that so many of the figures that were included in the revival of the vintage collection were for originally from that sort of 2013-14 Black Series era, 2015 even. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts, any other characters, any anything else. Ask questions, fire away. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more because there's plenty more coming. So until my next video, may the force be with you always.